Hello. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I've been thinking about this food since last night. And that's what happens when your mama don't cook on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? She don't like to cook on Sundays, so we eat the same thing every Sunday for like 20-some years. So, I'm ready to cook. So, I'm waiting on y'all to come in. Welcome, welcome. Make sure, when you come in, make sure you tell me where you're from. Because I always go back after the video, read people messages, and answer their questions or whatever they may have. So, welcome everybody. Welcome to Yo-Yo's Kitchen. Houston, Texas. Yeah. I'm ready to get down with it. You hear me? It's like past due. It's like past due for a good meal. <laughs> First, I'm not going to drink too much right now. Because I got to pick up faith in a little bit. Hi, Maria. Welcome, welcome from Mississippi. I got my wine chill. My Morgan David is on chill right now, y'all. But, I'll fix me a little quick little drink to make me feel nice. And then when I come back home, I can really relax. When I come back home, I can really relax and enjoy this delicious meal. Wait until y'all see these ribs. Oh my gosh. Wait until y'all see these ribs. It's going to be so good. And I ain't saying that just to be saying that. But they've been cooking in the oven now for about an hour. I would say they've been cooking for maybe like two hours. Yes. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so, I'm about to drink some apple juice. And I'm not going to drink too, too, too much right now. But I'm going to mix it. With my pa, my son, apple juice, just a little bit, not a lot. Like I said, I'm going to be leaving in a little bit. I got about, somebody got to keep up the time with me, okay? So right now it's 1.17. I'm going to say I have about an hour and a half to cook until my baby get out of school, right? So yes. So I'm just going to drink right now my father, son, apple. Yeah, my heart is like boo 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 because I know I'm finna eat some good food. Oh, I'm ready to eat this food. Y'all don't know. Oh my, and I just came. I've been thinking about. Did y'all see the other post that I post? I'm gonna make a white corn shoe pig soup with chorizo with andouille sausage and a white cream base. With sweet corn in a chicken broth maybe a little bit of potatoes maybe a little bit not a lot maybe a little bit uh, it's it's a corn soup it's a sweet corn soup so I want to taste all the corn I have my glass of wine white Merlot so excited to this meal oh thank you miss Evans where are you from welcome everybody cheers we doing cheers early huh <laughs> that you know all the good shows come on all the good shows come on Monday. So I want to make sure my meal is nice and prepared. But I'm going to show y'all these ribs. Oh my goodness. Mm. First. Let me show y'all. First. I'm going to open this oven up. Y'all have to see this. I mean, I can't keep it a secret no more. For real. Woo! That steam done hit me in the face. <laughs> this is my ribs. Y'all ready? This is fresh lime. I can actually take that out now. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is in the oven. Damn. They look just as good as putting it on a grill, right? I love baked ribs in the oven. I'm going to show y'all all the seasonings. Of course, y'all know I had to start cooking this because I'm baking it. It's no way to sear this up. Unless you cut it up, okay? So, welcome everybody to Yo-Yo's Kitchen, Houston, Texas. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything. But yes, this is my ribs. 
I will come back and show y'all that again, okay? I'm gonna come back and show y'all that. Oh, shit. All right, sorry, 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 sorry. So moving on over here, I'm gonna show y'all first. I'm gonna show y'all what I, what I use to season my ribs, okay? I'm gonna show y'all what I use to season my ribs. So, okay, first off, I got some Jack Daniels. And I only got a small one, I only got a small one. All right, this one is like maybe $3, almost $4 at the liquor store. So I did get some Tennessee whiskey, Jack Daniels, okay? I'm gonna be using Stubbs Hickory Bourbon. Oh, you know this is gonna be so good. I like this brand, it's pretty good. I also threw some Smokehouse Maple, okay? Stubbs, again, Stubbs barbecue sauce, Stubbs. Now this is a beef spice rub, but check out the ingredients. It's sea salt, it's molasses, and it's coffee. So I threw these on my ribs too, okay? As always, I have my imported basil. And I have Yo-Yo's all-purpose seasoning that I also use, okay? And of course, my extra virgin organic olive oil. And I also use Wickershire sauce. The secret to my steaks and my ribs is the, work, the Wickershire sauce. It makes it taste so good. And of course, yes, my Palmer Sun with my apple juice for right now. Okay. Moving over here. Yeah. I'm going to be using HEB brand chicken broth. I have steamed crisp shoe pad corn. I have Libby's whole kernel sweet corn. I have Del Monte white corn. I have um, heavy whipping cream, okay? So this is the ingredients for my soup, everybody. Just showing y'all that really quick, okay? My ingredients for my sweet corn soup, all right? I'm also going to be using Cajun style and Dooley sausage by Cajun Holler brand. I'm also going to be using San Luis all natural. I like to use a, tr a chorizo that's all natural because the consistency is like it's more thicker than a cheaper brand chorizo. Uh, maybe the cheaper brand chorizo tastes good with eggs, you know, like a breakfast burrito or something, right? But that's what I'm going to use in my soup, the andouille and all natural chorizo. Okay, moving over here. I'm thinking about making a coleslaw, everybody. So I got my cabbage. Woo, I got my cabbage. Woo, I got my onion. I got my tomatoes for my soup. I'm probably going to throw a little bit of potatoes. This is a purple potato. Okay, red potato, a little bit of rusty potato. Onion, and I also have my matchsticks. Carrots, okay? There was a lot of ingredients, wasn't it? <laughs> but it's okay, because this meal is going to be simply... Wonderful. Let, do me a favor, everybody. Okay, everybody, do me a favor, okay? Share this video right now. Like, if you see the share button, share this video. Let people know that I'm here, okay? People that have a love for home-cooked food, that like to try things that's different, okay? And I welcome everybody. Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, y'all already seen my ribs in the oven, right? So the only thing I got to do with the ribs, the ribs are pretty much cooked. I got them on 300. So the ribs are cooking nice and slow. They continuing. It's continuing to get nice and tender. I haven't threw my barbecue sauce on there yet. But I'm about to throw my barbecue sauce on there. Then I'm going to start my soup. So y'all ready? Let's go. Yeah. All right. So... I'm going to go ahead and throw my barbecue sauce on my ribs right now, okay? Mm. I'm going to let y'all see. I'm going to let y'all see. So give me a second. I'm going to move. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move. Got to get my gloves. I want y'all to see how delicious this looks. All right. Hi. Hi, everybody. 
Hello, the boss, Linda. Everybody coming through. Siobhan, Drake, Miss Evans, Kia, Krishan, Kiara, everybody that's here. There's a lot of y'all on here. So I can't say hi to everybody, but no, I say hello. Make sure if it's your first time watching me, please add me as your friend. I'm going to tell y'all why real quick. I'm a jewelry designer. Everything that I wear, I make. I don't have on earrings right now. I make rings, crowns. I make natural body products from scratch, scratch, okay? So, I sell a lot of soap on Facebook. Everybody know me for my soap. So, just to let y'all know, make sure you add me as your friend so you can see more of my creative side. All right, so here we go. So, here go the ribs. Ooh. So, I'm going to be using stubs, okay? I'm going to be using stubs, barbecue sauce. I use it for the first time. I really liked it. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of drizzle. I'm going to drizzle this on it. Okay. I couldn't show you how to cook the ribs because of course, you know, it has to bake in the oven. I'm going to put a generous amount. I think that's good for right now. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like sweet stuff. So anything that's sweet. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So, also, y'all, to let y'all know, when I cook my ribs, I showed y'all all of the seasonings that I used, right, at the beginning. I had also rubbed brown sugar all on my ribs because I want my ribs to be super sweet. I want it just to have a nice sweetness, okay? So, that's the reason why. Okay, now I'm going to put some fresh basil, okay? So the only other thing I haven't did, I have not added any onions. So I just threw some fresh basil, everybody, okay? Got the fresh basil. So what I'm going to do now, this right here is a starter show, okay? This right here is why I'm making these ribs. I went to Dave & Buster's. It's been a long time ago. It's been a while since I went to Dave & Buster's. But when I went, oh my gosh, when I went... I had something called Jack Daniels chicken. That was the best chicken I ever had in my whole life. <laughs> I'm not going to even lie to you. Oh my gosh. It was seasoned, the barbecue sauce, whatever they use at Jack Daniels. It just brought the meat, the flavor out so much more. And you know, chicken gets really tender. So after doing all of that, it was just so good and so sweet. And I was like, mmm, it was just so good. You know what I'm saying? So now, what I'm going to do, y'all, I got my Jack Daniels. This is a very small one, okay? This costs about $3, $4, okay? I could have mixed the barbecue sauce with, with this, but I'm not, okay? Very strong. Ah. I can't drink like that. Ugh. But anyway, it's a drizzle, okay? Can y'all see? Okay, I think that's a generous amount, all right? That's a generous amount. As you can see, okay? As you can see, I use probably half the bottom. So I can save this to make a real by steak. I can save the rest of it to, I have chicken thighs. I'll probably save the rest and do maybe chicken thighs, okay? So, it really didn't matter. If, to, honestly, it really didn't matter if I mixed it with the barbecue sauce. Or if I just poured it over, just like I just did right now. So what I'm going to do, everybody see, I love Jack Daniels chicken. You should try Jack Daniels ribs from TJ. I haven't been there in a long time, but I know, yeah, Jack, I, I'm assuming since that chicken was so good, it's going to even taste better on the ribs. But yes, I'm cooking my own ones today. So can y'all see this pretty good? So this is the outcome of my ribs, everybody. They've been cooking on 340 or 350 for about an hour and a half to two hours. So they're pretty much done. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it on bra at the very, very end. Okay? And then it'll be finished. But for right now, the only thing that I did not do, I did not put any spice. Okay? So what I'm going to do right quick, I'm going to cut some onions. Welcome everybody to Yo-Yo's Kitchen. Thank y'all so much for watching. I miss y'all. I haven't been, well, I haven't really been cooking. 
But I've been excited to cook, so I want to make sure today, I really wanted to make sure today that I make a good meal. Okay. So now I'm going to add some onions to this. So you already know with the onions, it's going to come out so good. Okay. I'm going to just kind of thinly slice it. Okay. Now, y'all see this? This is the lemon. This can be discarded, okay? And, hey, I can see y'all. <laughs> All right? I'm hooking up the Jack Daniel ribs up in here. Okay? All right, so now I can just start kind of cutting it in a little bit smaller pieces, okay? Got that in there? All right? So one more thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, okay? I had to buy some fresh garlic because I was actually running out of it. I guess I use a lot of garlic, right? I don't realize how much I use. Okay, y'all, so now I did that. Okay, finally chop up your garlic. Y'all know this is going to be the bomb. Oh, my God. I can't wait to eat this. Okay. I only did one clove. I think one clove is enough. Okay. Actually, let me do. I'm going to put one more. I'm going to put one more clove, okay? Okay. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut up one more clove. All right, one more clove, got that in there. Kind of shake it just a little bit so everything can mix up pretty good. All right, I'm going to throw a little bit more basil on top, okay? Bam, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. So at least y'all got to see, at least y'all got to see what else I did to these ribs, okay? I couldn't physically show y'all how I cooked it, but at least I can show y'all what type of seasonings I use, how long I cooked it, you know, all of that is very important. Let me grip this with two handles, cause. All right, so I have that on very low. It's on 300 degrees in the oven. Since it's pretty much already cooked, all I wanna do now, I just want the garlic, the onions, the Jack Daniels to all marry together. Okay? So, that's done. All right. Too bad I couldn't drink my wine. I really wanted wine, but you know what? It's okay. I can drink my wine later. <laughs> Make sure y'all share this video with your friends and family. They have a passion and love home-cooked meals, okay? I'm not a chef. <laughs> I just have a passion and a love for cooking. Um, you know, growing up, I always ate at my grandmother's house. Or my mom always cooked. We always eat a lot of rice. People from the country eat a lot of rice. And I've always, like, to me, a meal is not complete if I don't see rice on my plate because... That's how I just grew up. I just grew up thinking like that was just a part of my meal every time I eat. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, like your grandmother food or your mama food be so good that you can just take like pieces of meat and the gravy that they make with some rice and some hot sauce. And it'd be like, you just be in heaven. <laughs> That's how good my grandmother cook and my mama cook. It just, they cook so old school. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and just to let y'all know, also, I did soak my slab of ribs in that pot. I had soaked it in vinegar and water, a little bit of um, organic Bragg's apple cider vinegar, and then I drained it, okay? I let it soak for 30 minutes to really get it more clean, and then I drained it. And then after I drained it, I seasoned my meat with all of the seasonings that I show you at the beginning of this video, just to let y'all know, okay? You can do that with chicken. You can do that with pork. You can do that with um, roast. You can do it with any type of meat, basically, okay? 
Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay, so now, moving on. <coughs> okay, excuse me. So somebody keep up the time with me. It's 1.34. My baby get out of school at 3. So somebody keep up the time um, for me, please. So that way I can kind of keep up for how long? For how long, uh, what, Miss Tonia? How long to cook the ribs? My ribs been cooking almost two hours. Actually, probably two hours. So now I added the Jack Daniels. I added the Jack Daniels whiskey. And I use stubs. I use about half, okay? And I had used stubs, hickory, bourbon sauce. However, if you make your ribs, you can use whatever sauce that you love. You know what I'm saying? I just like to try different stuff and see how it tastes. And I tasted a different a different one of his brand, and I, I liked it. I thought it was really good. Okay. I'm not in the Yes, yeah, so I'm going to move this. We're going to start. Ooh, y'all, this ain't duly smells so good. It smells good through the package. That's how you know it's good, right? <laughs> I don't have my Creole sausage. I'm out of my Creole sausage. All right. Okay. Ah! Now. Time to get them done again. You know. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first, everybody? Hello, hi, Annie. Oh, Ann. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, y'all? I'm gonna cut my andouille sausage in an angle because that's how I like to cut my sausages in an angle. I'm gonna sear it up in virgin olive oil on low for right now. Okay. Remember, I always say the foundation of all my food, like I don't care what I make, is virgin olive oil, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut up. I'm going to go ahead and cut like two pieces or two cloves because remember, this is a soup. So whenever you're making a soup, you know flavors like garlic and onion is going to come through, right? Salt. I use sea salt, okay? You know flavors like that is really going to come through your soup. It's going to make it taste even more better, okay? So, chop up your garlic, virgin olive oil, and this is the Expeller Press olive oil, okay? I'll put that up in there, okay? And I'm also going to put a little bit more, actually, another clove of garlic, y'all. Everything tastes good with garlic, right? Alright, so welcome everybody, welcome. Yes, making a good meal today. The ribs are in the oven. I've already showed everybody how it looks. So, if you're just coming in, I'm sorry. I'm trying to like, <laughs> not saying cook within a certain time, but I don't want to take too, too long. So I kind of prep some things before I started cooking, you know? So that way, the process can go a little bit easier. I'm chopping up my garlic, everybody. Cutting it into small pieces. So you know this is going to be so good. Yes. Ooh. I got my garlic up in there. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is chop up my andouille. I'm kind of serious today. <laughs> I'm serious because I'm trying to get to this food. Uh oh, that's my song. Yes. So I'm going to cut it. Actually, hold up. Cut it like diagonal. 
Okay. Not this. So I'm gonna cut it like that. What is it you want? Alright, so I'm cutting them kind of like into cubes, okay? Alright, got that? Alright, got that going. So this is andouille sausage, everybody. I'm probably going to leave some, some pieces are going to be more chunkier. I'm a, I want to add a little bit of contrast to it, okay? So some of the pieces... Is that a knife? Yes, it is. It's a knife. I love this knife. This is my favorite knife. Okay. So remember. All right. I'm going to cut this up a little bit now. Okay. Oh, y'all. Oh, my gosh. If y'all can only smell how awesome this soup is smelling. And I'm not even halfway finished. I don't know what it is. I was like, I want some corn. I love corn. Cheers. This is going to be so delicious. I'm going to put my ribs on bra for the end. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's me. Oh, you watching you you really like I really like your personality oh thank you Tonya thank y'all for always watching me you know I'm just a regular person and y'all show me so much love by buying my products my jewelry my natural products so I really appreciate and I'm so happy that I have met so many awesome people that actually watch me cook it's like beautiful you know what I'm saying so, and thank you. Thank you, Miss Barnes. She said, I love the shirt. Thank you. I got this from another vendor from the Shrine of the Black Madonna. Yes. Hey, Charmaine. What's up, Charmaine? I seen you with your coffee and your cream. <laughs> you hooked now, huh? Oh, you probably been doing that. I love it. It tastes so good. Oh, okay, y'all. All right, so I got that. Oh, it smells so good up in here. Jesus. All right, this is next. I'm adding chorizo. Make sure you get the one that say all natural. It makes a difference, y'all, okay? All right, so. Okay, let me tell y'all something. The casing on this particular brand. I need a sharp knife. Hold on, y'all. I mean, I need mean like a pointed knife. Okay. So the casing on this brand, it, it look, it feels like plastic. Okay. It feels like plastic. So you don't want to use that. You gotta get that off. Okay. You gotta get that off because it's like plastic. Okay. Make sure you take that off. That's if you buy this brand. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. Mix it together. So now that it's a chorizo. So you know that chorizo had a good fat. <laughs> and remember, this is in olive oil, y'all. It smells so awesome up in here. And then I have garlic. I have garlic, okay? Oh, 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 oh. I just took that knife and went bloop and emptied all that goodness out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add three because uh, I'm going up because remember this is like plastic. You do not want that in your food while you're cooking, okay? Yes, there you go. All right. So I got that. Let me wash my hands. Y'all, this meal is making me really happy. I'm going to check on real quick. I'm going to check on my ribs and see how they doing. Woo! Smell the Jack Daniels up in here. Damn, that smells good. It hit me. It was like, boom. <laughs> I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on bra towards the end so it can have a nice crispiness. You know, like the ribs at the restaurant, you know? All right, here we go. So, again, I use St. Louis. You can use any kind of chorizo. Whatever you use, make sure it say all natural, okay? So, now that I added that, okay, you're just going to turn up the heat now, okay, because now I'm paying attention to everything. So, I got this in here. What's next? This is my meat. All right. Oh, this is going to be so good, y'all. Yes. Yeah. So, I am right now, everybody, if you're just joining, welcome, welcome to Yo-Yo's Kitchen. I am preparing Jack Daniels ribs in the oven that was seasoned, clean, very well. Different spices I use, plus my spice, Yo-Yo's Kitchen Spice. If you want to try my spices, I'll put my link once I post my food. And y'all are more than welcome to visit my Etsy store where I have my spices, my jewelry, my natural soap I make from scratch. So, yes, make sure you follow me because I'm always doing a lot of videos and showing everybody my creative side, okay? So, right now, I'm mixing the chorizo and the andouille sausage together, okay? I am making a, a sweet corn soup, everybody, with chorizo. All right. Y'all, y'all feel me? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I have a few potatoes. I got a few potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and throw those in there, okay? I'm going to go ahead and few colored potatoes, purple, purple potatoes, red potatoes, okay, so y'all can see how everything's looking right now, okay, I'm cutting my potatoes up. Organic. This is an organic potato. Look how beautiful the color is, everybody. Wow. This is awesome. I can use this as a color for my soap. Look, it's natural. It's a natural color. That's awesome. I hope it doesn't bleed into my, you know, to my chorizo. The Jack also makes a good mopping sauce. Oh, I can only imagine. I wish I had a grill. I'd be cutting up, but my dad, oh, ooh, we go. <laughs> right? I know. Y'all, I don't know why my mama call me every time I'm cooking. Why she almost know when I'm online. You know what I mean? Okay, everything is in here. Chorizo. Okay, you don't want it to burn. Make sure you mix everything well. Okay, all right. So, I've added the little different types of potatoes up in here chorizo and dooley. I'm gonna put basil, organic basil, full of flavor. I want to taste nothing but flavor. All right, so what's next? I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. 
So now I'm gonna start building my suit. So remember, whenever you make a suit, whenever you make any type of suit, the foundation. Sorry, I'm keep I have to call it. The foundation of a suit, you start off and you cook your meat here in a virgin olive oil first. She wants to play. <laughs> she don't even know I'm cooking. They are tasty, not so starch. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. Mmm. Yes, this is gonna be a good meal. All right, so got that going. All right. So now what I'm gonna do now? Onion. Okay, I'm going to have to probably cut another onion because it's not enough. I can't do half onions, y'all. I got to do whole onions. So you can kind of, you know, cut your, your onions up a little thick, okay? Ain't no wrong with that. Mix it up well, okay? All right, got that? I'm going to go ahead, use another onion because that was only a half an onion. Cut that up. Okay. I hope y'all enjoying the show. I'm so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to sit down. I cannot wait to sit down and just to simply just enjoy my meal. Yes, and the secret to a uh, good soup, make sure you put a lot of onion, use some good seasoning. See, since um, Andouille, chorizo kind of has their own flavor, you don't have to use a lot of seasoning, okay? The only thing I'm probably going to use up in here is a little bit of sea salt and basil, okay? So as you can see, that meat is nice and crispy now, right? The potatoes are going to, sorry, that music sounds so I know, it is. I love to listen to good music while I'm cooking. Let me see. Are you going to add any type? Yes, I am. So what I'm doing right now, Liz, I'm building it up. Yes, the purple potato. Oh, okay, okay. What you drinking? <laughs> I'm drinking apple juice and Parmesan apple. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I have, a, I have a baby. She's seven and she's very picky. So most of the time when I cook, she don't eat my food. But sometimes she'll surprise me and she'll eat my food. So yeah. Her name is Faith. She not here. Everybody know her. They watch me. They watch me all the time cooking. So everybody already know who my baby is. Okay, so everybody check it out. So I already got that, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some broth. Okay. And I I I love the taste of chicken broth. So I'm using chicken broth. Gotta take the seal off. It's going to give it a nice, smooth taste, all right? So, got that. And you can add water as well. I'm just going to use half right now, okay? There you go. Okay. I'm hoping because of the chorizo, I'm hoping that the color will come out really nice, not too red. I was going for more like a red texture. Or, not a red, I'm sorry, a white texture. Okay, so... Corn, whole corn or corn, corn, steamed crisp corn, uh, thank you Ashley, I keep saying once you try the 20 grand apple or peach you would throw that pot, I know I seen the 20 grand today, I'm going to have to try it, mm -hmm. I'm not a hard drinker. I like mostly like frozen drinks and I like um, wine. I love red wine. Red wine is my favorite. So this is how this look, everybody. I hope everybody's following me. Okay, so now I'm gonna open my corn, okay? So I'm gonna taste nothing but corn, nothing but corn, okay? Alright, 
So here we go. So I got my corn. I'm about to drain the water off the corn. I love this corn. I can eat this corn right here, right off the can. It's so good, y'all. All right, so here we go, okay. First can, got it in there. Okay. And that one was the white, white shoe peg corn, everybody. Okay. Now everybody already know about Libby's. Everybody know about Libby's. Second can of corn, okay. So, I'm also going to add one more, well, actually two more things, okay? Now, I'm going to add white corn, Del Monte. Hello. Hi, everybody. Sharina, say perfect. Thank you. Okay. So, more white corn. I love the color of white corn. All right. Put that in. I want to taste nothing but corn, y'all. Corn. Mix everything together. Remember, it has the andouille sausage up in here, a little bit of potatoes, and chorizo, everybody, okay? All right, now. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I haven't even did, I'm going to be adding heavy cream because I want, I really want it to go for more like a white type of, you know, so it can, it can be like a little white, right? So... Oh, why everybody trying to call? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is do it for fun. I have any spice. Okay. All right. So now we got my corn. Oh boy, it's chasing good so far, and I'm not even finished, okay? All right. 
I'm just gonna give everything a mix. I'm gonna put some more onion up in here as well, everybody. I'm gonna put some fresh cilantro up in here to give it a more of a very good, nice. I'm turning up the heat a little bit, all right? Let me rinse my um, plate off for a second. Okay. All right. I can add one more cup. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add it, all right? I already took it off the cob, so why not? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, this corn is juicy. Right now. to know if you're married. <laughs> I used to be married. I'm divorced, but I have somebody. <laughs> Every man wants a woman. Well, uh, she knows how to cook, right? That's only natural, right? <laughs> all right. So, got some corn, right? More corn. Look at all that corn, y'all. Wow. It's like I'm having a corn feast. It's like I'm having a corn feast over here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What time is it? Mm. All right. So, I'm having a feast today because I deserve it. And I'm hungry. Now, with the soups, you know you don't have to cook it too, too long. Okay? So, now... I, even though y'all y'all can see plain as day, the base is red, okay? And it's red because of the chorizo, and I haven't put no tomato, so it's really coming from that chorizo, okay? So what I'm going to do now, thank you. Wow, it's already three? Gosh. Okay, so this is one pint of heavy cream, okay? If it don't turn right, it's still going to be a beautiful color, y'all, okay? Okay? It's still going to be a pretty color, Anyway, okay, that's a nice color that is coming out, okay? That's a nice color. I like that. I'm going to add a little bit more chicken stock, okay? Yes, that's a nice color. All right, so what else I'm going to do to this now? I'm going to add some salt. I'm adding some sea salt, okay? Okay, now, I am going to add some flour. Everyone is saying two. <laughs> so, so what I'm gonna do now? Can y'all see? This is how the color coming out. It's still cooking, okay. But once I incorporate everything, okay, I want to cut some more onion. Oh, my fellas. Okay. All right. Got that? So I just went on and put basically a whole onion up in here, okay? So now what I'm going to do now is add some flour. I'm going to do one big spoon, okay? We're going to incorporate that, mix it all together, okay? That's going to make it thicken up a little bit, okay? It's going to thicken up. Remember, it has meat in here, okay? So it is meat up in here, y'all. It's andouille sausage and chorizo. So y'all probably like, why is it that color? Because, you know, heavy whipping cream is white, but because of the chorizo, it made kind of like a, you know... I'm not finished. All right, got there. So, once this get nice and thick, send it. It's twelve. Everybody, different time frame. <laughs> 
So once this get nice and thick, I did not add really no spice to it because I don't want it to be too spicy. But I do want it to have a little bit of a spice, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put four little pieces of serrano pepper. That's just a give it. Thank you. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Yo-Yo's Kitchen. Houston, Texas. I am making a sweet corn soup. Sweet corn soup with onions, with um, organic basil, with andouille sausage, with different types of potatoes uh, cut into petite pieces. Rusty potato, red potato, purple potato. Okay. Garlic was infused in the olive oil when I was searing the sausage and the chorizo, okay? So right now, you just wanna give your soup love, okay? I'm gonna go in and put some fresh, okay? All right, so to add more freshness, I'm gonna cut a little bit of cilantro to give it an extra, uh, a nice fresh um, smell and just, just a freshness about it, okay? So you know I added um, flour, so you just want it to kind of cook and you want it to get thick, thicker. If you want the consistency to be a little bit thicker, you can add as much. I, I did one big spoon. I think that's perfect. If I feel like I need more, then I will make more. You know what I'm saying? So I did add a little bit of cilantro, okay? It's steady, getting a little bit thicker, so it is getting thicker, okay? And I'm just making sure I mix everything, the bottom, just mix everything together. And the cilantro is going to give it a pop of brightness, okay? Now, if you don't want to add cilantro, you don't have to. You don't have to add cilantro if you don't want to. If you want to add, like, spinach, kale, you can add whatever is your favorite veggie. I like cilantro because it gives everything such a nice, fresh sense. Alright, I'm going to give this a taste, alright? So it has about three different types of corn up in here. And that's what you want to do. You want to use different types of corn to give it a, to give it a nice, unique taste, okay? So I'm going to taste it. It's good. Mmm. Mm hmm It tastes perfect. I don't need to add... <clears throat> I don't need to add any more. Mm-hmm. Whatever soup you make, if you don't eat all of it, of course, you can freeze it. Mm-hmm. Soups at my house don't last long. The reason why is because once I make something like this, once I make something like this, I share with my mom and dad, right? I always share with them. I always share with them whatever I'm cooking. <laughs> but yeah, you can freeze it if you want to. But if it's a soup, it ain't gonna, it's, it's not going to last too long. So you can actually have it low because now you got all your ingredients mixed together. The onion... Serrano pepper, the meat, everything is in there, okay? So now you're just waiting it to get a little bit thick, okay? I'm just trying to see how thick it is. All right? So it's slowly getting there. And I'm just going to let this cook for maybe like... I'm going to let it cook for maybe like 45 minutes, okay? You don't want to overcook your corn either. You still want that corn to have a nice crispness. You want it to be nice and crisp, so you don't want to overcook your corn, okay? I would say maybe I'll let it cook for about 30 minutes. 
No longer than 45 minutes for sure, okay? So as you see what I'm doing, I'm just mixing everything up. I mix, I'm just making sure everything is nicely combined, okay, basically. Alright? And my spoon has holes in it, so that way I can kind of test it and see how thick it is. So the thickness is getting there. I don't need to add any more chicken broth. I don't need to add, I, I use the whole thing of heavy whipping cream, okay? So I don't need to add, I don't need to do that either, okay? So, all right, so my soup is looking nice, right? So all I gotta do with that is just cover it. All I gotta do here is cover it, okay? Now, the next thing is, so I have ribs. So you're thinking, okay, she got ribs, but she ain't got no sides, right? So for my side, I was thinking about making a coleslaw, but then I'm gonna have soup. So I was thinking about doing a coleslaw. I was gonna do rice, but I'm not gonna do rice. I'm not gonna do rice. I'm gonna kinda keep it a little healthy. So what I can do, what y'all think? <laughs> do y'all think I should do a coleslaw? Or do y'all think I should do veggies? So when I say veggies, cause the corn here is like a starch, right? So that's gonna be my soup. So if I do a coleslaw, that's like a veggie, cause it's gonna be carrots and cabbage, right? Or if I don't do that, I can just sear up some squash. So which one would y'all, if you cook this meal at home for your family, which one would you do? Would you do coleslaw or would you do squash? Okay, I'm waiting on y'all. I want to know y'all thoughts. I want to know how what y'all think. You think I should make coleslaw? Ursula said coleslaw. All right. All right, we got one coleslaw. Come on, y'all. If you cook this meal, would you cook coleslaw or would you do squash? It's ribs. So usually with ribs, you'll eat potato salad or you'll eat dirty rice or you'll eat some beans. Since I have my corn soup, my sweet corn soup, coleslaw. Cake say squash. Coleslaw is winning so far. All right. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. So what y'all think? This is my corn soup, everybody. With andouille and chorizo and onions and serrano pepper. Yummy. Can't wait to eat this. It feel like it's just nice. Just going to make me really cozy. Right? I love the color now that it's coming in. Three for um, coleslaw. Coleslaw, yes. Thank y'all. Okay. I think coleslaw is winning. Coleslaw is winning. I got my soup on low. Okay. All right. I think coleslaw is winning. What time is it, somebody? So when I come home, coleslaw is winning. Okay, so I'm going to make coleslaw. Thank y'all. Mm. I don't even taste the alcohol in it. It tastes like pure apple juice. <laughs> All right. Can y'all see okay? 
So my soup is on super, super low. Super low. I'm trying to pressure you. Alright. Throw that away. So the, re the way I do my coleslaw, everybody, I cut it in half.
just gonna mix everything together. You know you want coleslaw to have a tartness. So always use some type of vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar because that's all I have. I'm out of regular vinegar. But of course it's much more good and better for you. Because it has the mother in it. All right. Whatever you like, Tonya. Yep, you can. I just, I like the way this one tastes. Sorry, y'all, the noise. So now, you gotta add some onions. You have to add onions. Okay, so I'm gonna add an onion, probably like a half an onion. I'm gonna add aroma tomato. One. Who's enjoying this video? I kinda show y'all how I'm cooking different things. This is gonna be a really long video, y'all. So if y'all go back and rewatch it, just know that it's going to be a long video because I made some Jack Daniel ribs. I like color, y'all. Whenever I do a salad, I got to have color. I'm going to put some serrano pepper. Can y'all tell serrano pepper is like my favorite? <laughs> hey. All right. Mix this up.
almost finished y'all with my dinner. Woo! I'm on time today. All right. that before right <laughs> soup looking good we're gonna go back to it in a minute let's get it all out all out get it all out Perfect. Everything coming together. I'm going to let y'all see how it look, okay? You can use milk if you want to. Actually, I have milk. Hold on, y'all. So, so, this is my coleslaw. Alright, my coleslaw looking nice. Look very healthy, right? Y'all see me cut it up and everything. Onions, a little bit of Roma tomatoes, cilantro for for spice, you know, for a little bit of freshness. I got those um, matchstick. Matchstick on carrots, okay? Fresh basil. I also use my all-purpose seasoning, which has a lot of good seasonings, seasonings in there. All right? So that's how everything is looking, okay? All right, and over here, let me actually, let me put y'all back down. I'm making ribs, Jake Daniel ribs. If you're just coming in, you're probably gonna have to go back and watch the video. I did a lot of different things in this video, y'all. Okay, so now, Okay, back to the corn soup. Ooh, it got nice and thicker. It did get thicker. Look at that. Yes, this is my sweet corn soup with andouille with a little bit of potatoes. Okay, with chorizo. So this is a soup, everybody. With a whole onion, with basil to taste. And it's a mixture of three different corns. Shoe pad corn, fresh corn, white corn, sweet yellow corn different types of corns okay because i want to taste nothing but corn all right with the meat with the sausage of the andouille up in there all right so it's coming out beautiful i love the way it's coming out okay see it's gotten thicker look at that it's gotten thicker i did add one big spoon of flour it has a little bit of potatoes in there if i haven't said that already okay with a little bit of serrano pe pepper for a nice little spice, okay? I'm liking the way it's cooking. It's on very low right now, okay? All right. So what about them ribs? Hello. Hi, Joanne. Mm. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover my soup back up. I'm loving the way it's coming out. It's coming out so beautiful. I love the color, okay? So... I'm gonna open up the ribs. The ribs. Yes, can't wait to eat when I pick up. Hey, oh, I still got another stop. Damn it. That's my cue, y'all. It's 2 30. Alright, Jack Daniels. Tennessee whiskey. Alright. Can you see how much I use? I use this on my ribs. 
I tasted something called Jack Daniels chicken when I went out to eat one time, a long time ago, and it was simply delicious. If you let it uh, cook longer, will it get thicker or it's its own also? What? <sighs> Woo, shit. What are the ribs looking like? You're going to see in a minute, Chris. <laughs> they looking nice and it's strong. I can smell it. Oh, my gosh. Woo, that Jack Daniels. Woo. Woo, that shit's strong. Oh, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to show y'all. So what I want to do though, I'm going to put it on bra, but before I put it on bra, before I put it on bra, I'm going to let y'all see how it look, okay? It's been cooking for like over two hours now. I added the barbecue sauce at the end, so let me show y'all. These are my ribs, baked in the oven, and I use Jack Daniels, okay? Half of it. It is strong. It's a little strong. I can't wait to see how it tastes though. You got to go to the beginning of this video, y'all, because I showed how it looked. I posted pictures in the group early of how it looked when I seasoned it up. It's looking awesome. Awesome. Ooh, I got to try Jack Daniel's shrimp, too. That sounds really good. Yes. So that's how my ribs looking. Drunken ribs. <laughs> hey, that's a good name. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now... My ribs are finished, so what I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to put it on bra. I got it on high. So now what I want to do, so now, <laughs> now what I want to do, I want to get a nice crisp on my ribs. Crisp. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I want to get a nice crisp while it's doing that. Oh, damn it. I'm going to also put some um, provolone cheese on my soup, okay? I'm going to put some provolone cheese. Probably some mozzarella cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my soup, but I'm gonna wait until it's kind of like almost finished, which is almost finished because I can really cut it off right now, but I'm not. Okay, oh, I got some delicious bread that I'm gonna eat with my soup. Okay? It's beautiful, I like the way it looks. I'm going to show y'all how it looks, okay? Sorry, I'm holding the phone. It's actually called Tiger Bread. It's called Tiger Bread. Sorry, y'all. I'm really, like, bringing y'all with me. <laughs> so, it's called Tiger Bread. Let me show you how it looks. I'm going to actually warm it in the oven when I get ready to eat my soup. Or I can eat it like this. It's called... It's called Tiger Bread. Can y'all see how it looks? That's the name of it, okay? It was on sale. I was like, let me grab it. It looked it look actually delicious, okay? I'm gonna have this bread dipped in my soup, okay? So that's the bread I'm gonna be using. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so today everybody, I prepared Jack Daniels ribs in the oven. Okay, I use a lot of different spices, but I'm gonna tell y'all one more time the spices I use for my ribs. Okay, of course, Jack Daniels. Okay, I use like a half, and it's strong, so you could use less if you wanted to. I don't know if I'm quite sure I have carbs, Tony. I don't be counting carbs, girl, I just be eating <laughs> basil, stuff, spice rub. This spice rub has sea salt, molasses, and coffee. All right. I'm cutting it off. All right. Okay. I forgot I had the alcohol. Y'all forgot I had the alcohol. Okay. It's good. I just got it kind of toasty. It's kind of toasty at the top. So that's, it looks it does look good thank you thank you so that's one of the other spices i use so it has coffee molasses sea salt so if y'all never tried it you're supposed to use it on your steak i use it on my steak it was pretty good okay i also threw a little bit of smokehouse maple okay and of course if you want my seasonings you have to order from me but this is my all-purpose seasoning okay 
I did spice it up with that. Not only that, I had also used about a cup of brown sugar. I massaged it all on the rib and Wickershire sauce, okay? I like Frenchies, okay? All of that I put on my ribs and I let it marinate and sit there and just absorb all those good flavors. So I can't wait to taste it. And I also squeeze a whole lime, fresh lime over my meat. Lime makes sure meat very tender. It gives it an awesome flavor, okay? It kind of pulls everything together with the acid. Yeah, it has coffee and a seasoning. You don't really taste it though. Okay, so ribs looking nice. It looked like I actually grilled it now. Like it looks like it was on a grill now because the very top part, it might catch. I know, I was watching it. Thank you. I was like, oh shit, it's gonna get too hot. But what I did, Whenever I do that, I put it on broth for a little bit, but then I was like, damn, I did forget about the alcohol. Thank you for saying that. Who is that? Miss uh, Chris. Okay, so that's it, everybody. I have finished. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so yes. <laughs> you don't forget about the alcohol in my kit. Yeah, I really, okay, good to know. Yes. <laughs> so just like, yeah, be careful because it's like pure alcohol that I use in that sauce. So yeah, you got to be careful about the brawling. For sure, for sure. If Unless it's like in a smaller pan, like a square pan or something. That pan right there is a little bit up high. So it was probably kind of close to the, you know, to the, uh, to the thing at the top. All right. So that's it, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed this meal. I'm probably going to post this one. Um, I'm probably going to end up posting this one on YouTube, y'all. Okay? Yes. Thank y'all so much. I want y'all to see how nice and thick. Ooh, soup looking more and more awesome, y'all. Look at this. The corn soup. If y'all try any of these uh, meals that I prepare, please tag me in your post and let me see. Okay? Let me see how yours come out. I'm excited. I love to see everybody food looking so nice and beautiful, okay? So, yes. Perfect. The color is perfect, even though it was a bright red. After I add the heavy whipping cream, it calmed everything down. So, remember, you have to continue to stir, okay? I use potatoes, three types of corn, fresh corn, white pad corn, white corn, all in my soup, and dooley sausage, chorizo, okay, that's it, yes, I can watch my shows, I can do my dance, <laughs> thank y'all for watching so much, I just showed my reels, Miss, uh, Mr., I'm not for sure, Mr. or Mr. Nate, I'm sorry, you can go back and rewind, because I already showed them, I showed them about throughout the whole process of this video I probably showed my ribs a nice amount of time even I showed how it looked when it was seasoned well I showed how it, how it looked before I poured the um the barbecue sauce on it so yes please if you're just coming in and you missed majority of this video please go back and look because of the fact that I had a lot of different things that I was doing so I don't want to confuse y'all so make sure you go back and watch okay make sure if you are new and you never seen me cook make sure you tell me where you are from and when I go back and read my messages I answer people with questions or whatever okay that's it yo-yo's kitchen Houston Texas I hope that y'all enjoyed this meal that I prepared my Jack Daniel ribs with my corn sweet corn with andouille and uh, what else I put in there? Yeah, soup. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good day.